As many of you know, I recently applied optimizations from the LTO overlay to my entire Gen 2 system. And when trying to rebuild all of my packages with LTO optimizations, there was a particular package that wouldn't build correctly, MediaLibs X264. And this is a pretty big deal because pretty much every web browser has this package as a dependency. So no X264 means no internets. Now, if we look at this package on gen2.org, there's a few different versions. There's one stable, there's two testings, and then there's a 9999 version. So what is this 9999 all about? You might have seen it on a couple of other packages that are available in Gen2. And basically, it's the latest version control commit. Emerging a 9999 package will fetch the bleeding edge branch from Git or whatever version control system the developer is using, and it'll build that. So if you want to get the absolute most up-to-date package, you know, fresh off from the developer committing something, 9999 is what you're looking for. And in this particular case, the 9999 is what we need to solve the LTO build bug. Um, the specific area that seemed to be causing issues during LTO, or at least in an LTO'd system, I'm pretty sure is this patch here. So you can see that this strings patch is included in the latest testing version of X264. But then if we take a look at the um, 9999 version, we don't have that patch there. Uh, I don't know if this was just something that was built into the source code itself. Maybe it was built in such a way that didn't cause any type of errors. Not exactly sure. All I know is that it just works. Now, when you're trying to emerge a 9999 package, Portage is probably going to throw a keyword error at you. It's probably going to tell you that the package can't be emerged until it is unmasked. And the way that you would go about doing this is similar to how you would unmask a testing package. In fact, the unmasking of 9999 is done in the same file that we would do for the testing ones, etsy portage package.accept keywords. Um, so the syntax of the 9999 is slightly different though. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a couple of packages that have that applied. So the differences are instead of having AMD64 appended to the end of the package name, you want to have this double asterisk here. And then you want to have an equal sign because you always want to put an equal sign whenever you're specifying a specific version of a package. And then of course you apply the 9999. Uh, and as you can see, NeoVim, that's another one of those packages uh, that for whatever reason didn't work um, with the LTO overlay applied. Regular Vim does, uh, but not NeoVim. So I have that applied inside of my package.accept keywords as well. So once you go ahead and add that to it, you can go ahead and right quit this file. And then you can start emerging the package. Uh, now, you want to make sure that when you do the emerge, you specify the version number of the package in your emerge command as well. So the way that you'd want to go about doing it is emerge equals media libs x264 and then 9999. And when it's finished, you'll then have that critical component to build packages like web browsers into your system. Uh, and one final thing to note here is that when you have a 9999 version of a package installed on your system, those types of packages are not going to update unless you specifically rebuild them. So if you do something like an emerge update 
uh, at world, it's not going to include those. To update them, what you would want to do is an emerge sync to pull down the latest sources of those packages and then re-emerge that specific version of the package like I just showed you. But anyway, that's it for this video. I know it's a very niche thing, but this information was pretty hard to come by. There were some pieces of it uh, cast over various forums on the internet, but I was able to pull them all together into one video. So I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video and share it so that the few people out there who want to run a fully LTO'd Gentoo system can benefit from it. Bye now.